Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to do a follow-up for the 3D EZ product. So, um, also sorry about the sump pump in the background. It's been a few rainy days here in Michigan. So, uh, anyways, what I wanted to do is is show these prints. So, these are big hunks of ABS plastic that I printed out on the Da Vinci, and zero warping. I tell you, I'm just simply amazed if I can keep the light on here and at how nice this stuff has worked I mean uh, with glue I would have gotten a little warping around the edges and as you can see I've gotten zero warping on these pieces and now I've let this cool down that one wasn't too bad I'm trying to get underneath it This is a little bit tough. This one's a little bit tougher getting off the bed. So I'm trying to be careful. <clears throat> it's taking a little bit of force to get this one off. The other one wasn't so bad. But this one is definitely held down. You can see quite a bit of the material actually came up with that one. So, uh, that's interesting so uh, and this test strip is really held down there that's the toughest test strip I've ever had to get up so uh, anyways like I say this stuff it, and it's it's hard so what I'm going to do I've printed actually quite a bit over the past few days with this and um, so what I do is after I print, now this is the first time I've had such a big hunk come up to be honest um, because what I usually do is after the print is just where I print it, I put a little bit more down I'm going to put a little bit more where that piece came up and then I take my brush and I just go back over and coat it. It's a bit, I don't know how this piece is going to, because it is a bit kind of self-leveling like paint, not hugely self-leveling, but um, but this is, this is in short what I do now because of that big hunk that has come out to kind of level this in. I'm going to put a little bit more and kind of just dab it and let it sit in there. To kind of fill in that hole. But anyways, um, this stuff has worked phenomenal. I, I, you know, again, having two prints this size of high infill ABS um, wow, it's zero, zero warping on it, so, um, it has definitely come out pretty good. So, I've been impressed. Glue sticks, I could have never gotten this quality of, of product out of. So, anyways, um, again, I definitely give this stuff a thumbs up, and, uh, you know, if you're having problems with, uh, warping or what have you with ABS, uh, this is the stuff to get. I haven't tried it on any other material, but I've used it quite heavily on the um, Da Vinci's with ABS over the past few days, and it has, you know, knock and wood performed flawlessly. Actually, let's jump over and take a look at the 2.0 for a second. We are at the 2.0, so here's another actually fairly complex print. This is going to be the subject of another video that I'm doing, so I'm not going to pull this one up off the bed yet. Uh, however, again, you can see the bed here, fairly good sized piece of ABS, and again, one of the things to notice is that, um, I thought I cut myself for a minute, um, that there's zero warping, I can't get my fingernail under any of this, and with glue stick, I would have gotten at least a little bit of edge warping here, so this stuff has really, really worked well, I've been super impressed with it, so... Again, big thumbs up for um, 3D Easy. Um, so, anyways, 
give it a thumbs up. Just wanted to give you an update uh, on this, uh, how this was going. Again, I've done a whole bunch of prints over the weekend on this, so again, it's worked very well. Subscribe to the channel and I'll keep you updated with more on this. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.